Hi, I'm Ray, and on behalf of uh, Kay and I, I'd like to welcome you to uh, Wombata Guest House, our little piece of luxury and magic here in the Mudgee Valley. Um, I'd like to take you on a tour of, uh, of our Wombata Guest House and just show you some of the features and some of the things that you can experience and enjoy whilst you're here. Uh, when you come up um, onto this veranda with the guest wing here, um, from the car parking below, because you have undercover car parking here, um, the first thing you'll see is the swimming pool. Um, we've set the pool in a, in a bush setting. Um, it's an in-ground concrete pool that's solar heated with a two metre by two metre heated spa, gas spa at, at one end. Plenty of places for you to sit and relax um, and just take in the general ambience and the view of, uh, of Wombata. All the four rooms are basically the same. They all have a king uh, bed, um, a lounge area with views out onto the veranda and you have access to the veranda with uh, your own personal seating area out there and views north um, through the Mudgee Valley. Um, as I said, all the rooms have en suites. One of them, the black room, um, has a, uh, a spa bath in it as well with a window on the side that takes you out and looks again across the, the bush and, uh, and the olives. We have a, uh, a library which is for quiet time for people and it's, as you can see it's full of books and it's full of DVDs and CDs. There are plenty of things to do in Mudgee, let me say. Uh, the wine and food will keep you busy for two or three days. However, um, if you do need, do need access to books or magazines or a DVD or a DVD player or a CD player, then all of these things are available in the library, along with the morning newspapers uh, every morning. We go into the guest lounge. Uh, plenty of seating for you. There's a state-of-the-art LCD television stereo system. Uh, there's a log fire here, which we would light in the cooler months, obviously. The whole place is air-conditioned um, anyway. And again, it's built to take advantage of the views. Um, because as you can see, and we'll take you outside onto the veranda, you can see we have extensive views through the valley here. Here we have the uh, guest dining room. Uh, we do set up breakfast outside depending on the weather. So in, certainly in spring and autumn we would set you up outside here um, on the veranda. Um, for breakfast we would do um, a typical four-course breakfast. Uh, we have fruits, uh, cereal. Um, we do a choice of cooked breakfast, um, then we do toast and jams, and, and the majority of jams are made by Kay, using fruit from our orchard um, down the hill, um, and some other fruit trees we've got around the property, as well as fruit we get from friends, because we do a lot of bartering here in Mudgee. In all of the meals, we try and use local meats. We grow our own vegetables as well. We make our own olive oil. We have about 1,200 olive trees, and we're certified organic. Uh, we have our own wine made, we source fruit from uh, just the property next door to us, from Andrew Wormold, who's got Louise's Vineyard, and we make our own Shiraz called Simply Shiraz. I certainly hope that you've enjoyed the, the tour of, uh, of Wombata and uh, 20 hectares of, of beautiful land here. Um, should you choose to uh, want to stay with us, please give us a call and we'll give you all the help that we can to, uh, to arrange your visit um, and to make your stay as pleasant and as comfortable as possible. Thank you.